well, thank you very much to the organizers for inviting me to be here. It's just a great pleasure just uh, to, to come here and learn all the wonderful talks last, last week and this week. It was this very nice conference you put together. And <coughs> okay, so I'm going to speak about Poncar extensions or rational maps. This is a joint work with Peter Makienko and, and Guillermo Sienra. And my main motivation is the so-called Sullivan's Dictionary. So let me just put some entries here, just to remind you what it is. It, it starts usually by, so this is a, some, it's an interplay between client and groups. and iteration of rational functions. And it starts by noting that there are similar, similar objects and similar kind of language. The, usually the first entry here to say to people is the, you have the limit set, so for some gamma in P, S, L, to C, you have a limit set of gamma, which is just a, repel, a fixed loxodromic fixed point. The closure. And then you have also the Julia set for some R in the Semi group of rational functions. So, this you may know this is just a quotient of two polynomials. Usually, P goes up. <coughs> and here you have the closure of uh, repelling cycles. With this, you get the discontinuity set, which is just the Riemann sphere minus the limit set. You get the Fatou set, <coughs> which is uh, C minus the Julia set. You also have, as a, as a group, you have the so the algebraic structure you have here, you have gamma is a group. And then you lose, you have the semi-group over the, over the naturals, semi-group. And the theorem that made this uh, celebrate was the famous uh, Fatou conjecture, which is the, same, the, the following. So if it's related, the entry is related to, here you have Alfors finitus, theorem, which is uh, if you have gamma finitely generated, then the discontinuity set of gamma modulo, the orbit set of the discontinuity set consists of finitely many surfaces. And over here we have uh, no wandering domain. This is by Sullivan, which is uh, all for two components. are uh, 
monthly periodic or periodic. If you if you take also the the Fatou set mod by the action of the semigroup, then you also have is finite. But this was already known by Fatou. So the, this this part is already Fatou. What surface? I haven't speak about surface now. Ah, yeah, the surface are of finite type. Yes, there's a finite union, finitely many surfaces of finite type. Yeah, I will come back to this because that's why I'm putting these entries. That's the last part of this talk. Okay, so. But then, uh, as every dictionary, this is not a perfect dictionary. There are many things that don't translate too well. Well, here you have group, semi-group, but there are others like here you either have a measure, you have zero measure or the whole, the whole sphere for the limit set. In, in, in the rational case, you can have intermediate cases as a result of Sherita and Buff. And, but we still like this thing. And the, the first thing, the first time I, I, I met this Sullivan's dictionary, it struck me as something very strange. Well, it was wonderful to have such a thing. But in a sense, this, these two objects are kind of different. Well, yes, you have the Mavius, Mavius group, sorry. Which is uh, so. This is the group generated by all inversions on on, on spheres, on on circles, on the plane. And uh, classical Poincaré extension put this Mavius group into the isometries of the hyperbolic real space. And I'm going to miss the real the the the. the <coughs> the field over here, because I'm just going to use this hyperbolic tree space. And the usual construction is just very easy. You just, if you have this circle, you just put a cap on it, and then every, make the same construction on the tree space. This is uh, isomorphic to PSL to C cross C2. And in, as we have seen before, PSL to C is isomorphic to isometries of H3. And this is our, the, all the homographies. No, I can say it correctly. This is of this type, which is, of course, contained. So, PSL to C is a is the subgroup part of the semigroup of rational functions. So yes, this is a this is of the form of two polynomials. So what is my problem here? My problem is to extend this Poincare extensions define it on the semi group, on the group of uh, PSL to C into, into some kind of extension define it on the semi group of rational functions. This is my goal today. And there are infinitely many ways to do that. If I just restrict to this case, well, it is uh, amazingly huge the way of possibilities. Uh, a stupid one is just to take. Uh, so the boundary of of H three can be identified with uh, with the with the sphere S two, and then consider V three, which is the boundary of V three, and then you just radially 
extend the rational, the rational thing. But of course, this doesn't extend the usual Poincaré extension here. It is nice in the way that this, go, this makes a, so we are looking for representations of RAT-C into the semigroup of endomorphisms of H3. Uh, yeah. So, our idea is this one. So, we want to make it in a coherent way of the Poincaré extension. So, the idea is that all morphic covering between Riemann surfaces is a Möbius map on their coordinates. So, this is a very ambitious, uh, yes. Just wait a little bit. You're going to ahead. Yes, I want that. I am doing dynamics, so I'm willing to do dynamics. But in a minute, you will see that I cannot do it. Well, so far, we cannot do it. So this is a very ambitious entry on the Sullivan's Dictionary by showing that a rational map is indeed a Möbius transformation under uniformization. So this may seem a little bit crazy to you, but you will see that it's not that much. And we can manage to do it in, a, in topological generality. That means for an open and dense set of the rational, ra rational maps, but not in the way that we would like it, as, as Alberto mentioned it. It's not a semi-group extension. We would like to make it homomorphically, but we will show you that there is a semi-group the function case where this actually works. <coughs> but just let me, let me see what I'm, I'm trying to do. Because it, it really, to me, it really sounds crazy that a rational map is actually a Navy's transformation. But because while well, rational maps have degree, Navy's transformation don't. So where is the degree going? And all of these are questions. But here are two examples, some starting examples. And you will see that what I'm trying to say here. So you have the map C goes to C to the N, and the lattice family. Uh, here are the holomorphic coordinates. The map downstairs is, is your rational map, and leads to a very neat Möbius transformation on the, on the complex plane. Also, for the lattice family, you consider elliptic function. Here's the Weierstrass function, but you can take any other. And then you have. Uh, nice family of liftings of, of rational maps that lift as a Möbius transformation. And now that you have succeeded on doing that, then you can... Well, so what, what do we want? So what do we want to impose to our, to our, <coughs> to our, to our extension? Well, first, it has to make sense to speak about it on this conference. So this is, going to, this is the first thing I need to do. So it has to be geometric. So ah, I forget to mention that uh, in the static way, I mean static, there is no dynamics. If you have S is a, a Navius surface. Sorry, I, I just learned from Adolfo the other day that this should be called projective surface, but I'm one dimensional guy, so sorry. Maybe surface. Then there is a canonical way. To attach a three manifold. S. So if you have your surface and you have some conformal disk here, you just do what Poncaré did for this thing. And this, this, this is uh, Pulcarni, Pinca. So it seems that in Mexico we are reading a lot of your papers. <laughs> so 
this, this, is, this is done by Picard and Picard in this a canonical way. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. <coughs> if you think of the C star, for example, and you do this construction, what you get is, uh, is the whole hyperbolic thing minus the theta axis. So you just have to remove this thing out, and then this is the, 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 the manifold that you get by attaching bigger and bigger <coughs> balls. So that's the category I'm going to move in. It's a category of Möbius surfaces. And we consider holomorphic covering and assume that the, so there are many ifs now. I'm sorry to, there are a lot of assumptions to be made and a lot of assumptions to be met, but I hope I can manage to do that later. So assume that there exist two Kleinen groups and two components W1 and W2, such that the discontinuity sets uh, of these two Kleinen groups have that the stability, that the orbit on the stability of this thing is exactly the given, the given two surfaces. So now assume that there is a maybe transformation such that the structure here leads to uh, the to the corresponding uh, components of the omega limit set. And this is an induced homomorph homomorphism from gamma 1 to gamma 2, which is just the inner automorphism induced by alpha. It's just composition by that. So if you consider the, the three manifolds with boundary, uh, sorry, this, this is a typo, this shouldn't be there, but just consider the high, three hyperbolic space union, the closure of this, then it induces a Möbius morphism between uh, this, this, these two manifolds. And that, that's what we're looking, and in, if, if the map in, in this, so the, the map of this, uh, this slide actually extends the original uh, holomorphic transformation between the surface S1 and S2, and we call R tilde the Poincaré extension of R whenever it exists. So here's, uh, here's where the degree goes. The degree is encoded by the, the degree of the new map is encoded by the index of the image of gamma one into gamma two. And in fact, you, can, you have that the degree of the original map is less or equal than the other degree. This, this degree can explode to infinity. But the, the, the quality happens exactly when the stability of the, of the, of the corresponding Kleinian groups is exactly the Kleinian group itself. So you need, you need an invariant component. So this makes a description of what kind of uniformization we can consider for the Kleinian groups. Sorry. So the, this is just to, to go. This is, the previous was an abstract construction that managed to build an abstract three manifold. But we wanted to put it inside our favorite ma manifold. So, so we, we got some manifold M1, which is H3 union omega from gamma one divided by gamma one. And we wanted to, 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 it, to put it inside the hyperbolic tree space with the problems that there may be countably many geodesics that we have to remove in order to, to, to do this. And but then you have a, a map between two of these guys. So this is R tilde. So this is the map phi star. So we get phi star tilde R from 
some other and since we want a, a punctured extension we want, we don't want to have so many punctures we actually want to have the the original map here so we want uh, that the, this map continuously extends to the geodesic to the right geodesic so we have a very so we actually have that phi star r extends continually, extends to a map in end H3. Because so far, we don't have that. <coughs> There's a nice right and left action. PSL to C acts on the rational set, the rational maps by left and right. So, ah, so I did, I was in the setting of holomorphic mapping. Now. So when R is a rational map, usually you just remove the critical values, the critical set and the critical values to have a nice holomorphic map, which you can make this work. So I, I, here I changed the, the word for the projective. Anyway. So here's the equivalence of, of under this action. So we get some set in the rational in the in the in the rational maps. And assume that there exists a map that extends uh, the set into the endomorphisms of the uh, hyperbolic plane, hyperbolic tree space. And that this map is an extension for every element of A. Then we can make it equivalent just by defining this, defining this new map, where G and H are elements of the Mergis group. And make it in the, we just we just force it to be, but this may not define a map, maybe a multi-valued map. Why? There is a chance that there is a, there exists a Q and R to rational maps. And for Navis transformation, they say gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3, gamma 4. So that satisfies this equation. And in this, if we have such a thing, then there is no reason that this, this, these two objects may be the same. If we just define it in the way that it is that way. And in fact, the situation is tricky. Yeah, or it's even in the case when A consists of a single point. Because, well, if you, you, well, you might clean this together and then have some H1, H2 thing. You, you may have solutions for, for, for this equation. Just to, find, to, to get one, you, you consider C to the K, yeah. C to the K is equal to E to pi over K, ah. two pi I over K over C to the K. So here we have such a such a such an example. C to the K is a map with symmetries. But this is not so bad if we can, if we have the following thing. So if you have a rational map satisfying this equation, then this actually is an, this is an equality for, for, for this equation. If and only if H1 and H2 are medius automorphisms of the corresponding three manifolds. In that case, everything works fine. 
Okay, so I think I, I now I'm set up to, to say what we are looking for in a Poncar extension. So first we wanted to make, to make it geometric, as I explained it before, to have the same degree. That means that it has an invariant, invariant component. Now we can restrict the question of Alberto in, in many different ways. The first thing is just to consider what happened to the semigroup of a single map. This is the dynamical extension. So if you extend the map and all this, the, the extension of this map give a, are coherent with the dynamics of the rational map. You can make it even better if you consider semigroups of the rational maps and consider homom homomorphic extensions of the semigroups. So, so you have the following equation. The composition goes to composition. And another, another, another way to, 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 to restrict ourselves is just to ask for equivalence under Mavius action. This is sometimes when it's equivalence over some, some, some side. For instance, for the right is called what is called conformal, conformally natural extensions, which is uh, which has been exploited before by works of, well, it, it is based on Choquet, Choquet theorems, but then it was worked by Duardi and Earl, and uh, later on for rational maps by Castor Peterson, Kurt McMullen, and then was extended for by the song Courtois and Gallo. But the problem with the barycentric extension is that it doesn't define that homomorph is not a it's not a homomorphism. It may be, and also we have very very little control of what kind of maps we are getting on the geometry of these maps. Although it may be useful to compute volumes of in the static case. So I think that's that's so. The semi, as in the Kleinen group, the case which is easy, in some sense, is the function case. And the corresponding entry for the function case in the, in the rational maps is the so-called uh, Blaschke products. These are old rational maps that leave the, the unit disk invariant, the unit circle invariant, and have the following, the following thing. So each one of these maps is an automorphism of the unit disk. You may recognize that. And some some rotation. Yes. So this is the theorem. There is a conform extension defined on the semigroup of Blaschke maps, which satisfies the four conditions, except the fifth. The fifth may be satisfied if you don't if you don't ask that is equivalent on the the whole uh, PSL to C, but only the set of Navis transformations that leave the, this disk invariant. So it's, it's purely the friction case. But you may wonder, well, what, what if I wanted to make it actually uh, equivalent under the Navis, Navis action on the, whole, on the whole thing? Well, you can do that on se sub semi groups of the Blaschke maps, as long as the orbit, the bi-orbit of Mavis transformation doesn't hit this back point. So this inside, inside the, the, the rational maps, this, this map is a very bad point for having so many, so many, so many symmetries. Okay, so I think I'm, Ah, I know. Way ahead. So maybe I can I can say something about the proof here. Sketch. So the key facts are uh, one, 
bears simultaneous uniformization theorem. And secondly, that the Blaschke maps are symmetric so this is uh, these are the two key facts Start with a Blaschke map. With the critical points removed. So, and then uh, you consider two surfaces. You consider uh, delta delta one. This is. Let's start with delta two. Delta two, which is S two intersected with unit disk, and delta two star is S two intersected with the C minus D. So you intersected with the have here your, your mirror, you have some critical points inside here, and some other critical points inside here. And then you consider two pieces, the outside of this piece and the inside. And then you apply the simultaneous uniformization theorem for the blue, blue part and the red part together to get so we get we get gamma one and gamma star uniformizing. And and then you see that uh, uh, oh, no, this is too. And then you see that this this group actually should be the same because of the because of the the reflection principle. So this, 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 these groups are acting in the whole space, and then we have a nice holomorphic thing uh, uniformizing the, 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 the sphere as two. And once you have uniformizations, then you can't, then you just consider. You do the same thing for gamma one, for S one, and then you have this. Oof, I should put it. So
because <laughs> this is a map preserving the holomorphic structure. This has to preserve the holomorphic structure. So you have here a nice Mavis transformation. <coughs> so this is how you succeed to make up a Poincaré extension, and once you have it on the level of surface, you do the classical Poincaré extension to get the, the hyperbolic tree manifolds you want. And this, this, is, a, this is the way we, we do it. OK, now, uh, so far, we have been uh, managed to avoid this word, quasi-conformal. I couldn't manage to do not to do it. I, uh, I hope it wasn't a forbidden word in this conference, but here, here we have it. I need to introduce this space, coordinate space, which is the class of for for a given rational map. We say that R and Q are Hurwitz equivalent. If you can get two quasi-conformal maps, phi and psi, so that makes this diagram commute. And then, given a rational map. We consider all, only all the rational maps that are Hurwitz equivalent to the given rational map. This is a nice, nice space inside, uh, inside the, the, the rational maps. Everything is quasi-conformal in the in the quadratic family. Everything is in the. Huh? This is exactly. Thank you. This is exactly the way the, the place when we lose dynamics. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So so far we have done it in a dynamical way. So the construction here, the the Blaski maps. Oops, it's ten meters. The Blaschke maps satisfied the fourth. The fourth was the the homomorphic, the homomorphic thing, and even five if you consider PSL to R. But now, now we lose it here exactly. And so we can man, we managed to do it in a in open and dense set of the rational set, but not in the way as we like it, which is dynamical. So uh, we we topologize this. We, we put a topolo uh, topology on H R, the whole space with the compact open to, uh, topology. And so ah, that's what I. So. This is more than 100 years, 100, so about 1870s. Klebs and Rudolf, and Rudolf proved that every two, uh, every two. Uh, regular coverings, branch coverings. In generic position, that just means that the branch thing is not more than two. The, the branch points are Hurwitz equivalent. Are And that's where we get the topological generating thing of our theory. Ah, branch coverings of what? Of the Riemann sphere in generic position. In fact, 
there's an open, dense, open and dense. Since we have a geometric extension, we can prove in the Russian maps, we can prove that if two maps are, are sorry for making the hand wavelength. So if you have two rational, two rational maps, which are Hurwitz equivalent, such a way that this has an extension, then this also has an extension. And, and then we have this open and dense con condition. But, but we cannot manage to do it in the homomorphic way again. So now the next topic is coordinate rational maps. And this is a new phenomenon that, that we found out here. I don't know if it was given before. But let me show you. So if gamma is a Klein group inside PSL to R, geometrically finite, then I for say it's, then you get, oof, no, then you get a family is one until Sn, finite family. of surfaces of finite type. And there's a very natural question coming from this. So far, I don't know the answer. Maybe you know. If I give you any set of surfaces of finite type, finitely many surfaces of finite type, can you give me a, a group that uniformizes this, this finite set of surfaces? When can you do that? The beautiful uniformization theorem says you, that you can do that for one uh, Riemann surface. You give me two, you give me three. I don't know. Does anybody know that this is already solved? Ah, this is just finitely. No. Yes. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, this is not the same thing, sorry. So here's the question. The, the best answer I know about this one is the following. So for any clan and group, you have a coordinate family. This, this, this gives you a, a three manifold such that the boundaries of these three manifold are exactly these n surfaces. So these, these surfaces are coordinate in this, 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 is, this is part of the title. So this is a theorem by Maskit. If you give me, if S1, S2, blah, 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 until Sn is any family of surfaces of finite type, then there exists another you can throw in another surface such that uh, another ribbon surface such that it's not until Sn is a coordinate family. That's very nice. And the idea is that if you have uh, such, such passport, then you glue some, some graph 
and in the graph you go attaching the, 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 the surfaces and make some client, uh, mass heat client combination theorems in order to get the actual uniformizing group. But this is, that, that's, that's kind of the idea of the proof of this. And, and then, as, as then just looking at this, this, this construction, <coughs> you, you see the possibility that there are rational maps that are cobordant, meaning that there are some hyperbolic three manifolds with planar surface on the boundary. So, uh, so I, what I want, it could be that there are some hyperbolic three manifolds, M1, M1, and M2. Some maybe transformation that goes from here to there. <coughs> this, these are three manifolds with boundaries, so uh, the boundary of F1 it has S1 and S tilde, and the boundary of F2 is S2 union S tilde in such a way that <coughs> the projections over each, each thing, so I don't know how to do it, but let me say it. there is R rational map, so these two are planar, from S1 to S2, Q from S1 tilde to S2 tilde. which are cobordant. And this is our definition of cobordant, cobordism between rational maps. So this is exactly the definition. And then the question is, how can we make cobordisms between rational functions? And can we solve mass heat theorem? And first of all, this is a good, this is a good category. And yes, this. Of course, a map is cobordant with itself, thank you to uniformization theorem. If a map is cobordant to other, then the other is cobordant to the first one. And so that we have a transitivity of cobordism. And this is thank you to, thanks to the Thurston uh, geometrization theorem. So we cannot manage without that. So the idea is, so if, I think, so you have some surface here, some three manifold, so another surface. How do you name it? S1, S2. Then S2, S3. And then you do the natural thing, which is attach. But if you, to, if you attach two manifolds, there is no reason for these two manifolds to be hyperbolic. But uh, then you just need to, do, to check that this is a toroidal, it's not, it's hacking, and then you can apply uniform, torsten uniform, torsten geometrization to this thing. And then you just glue, and you get a nice hyperbolic three manifold. The next thing is the analogous to mass heat theorem. If you give me, uh, this is just working on the, uh, this, this is just working in the spirit of the Sullivan's dictionary, going word, word by the word and copy the, the, the proof in one way, goes in the other. And then you have R n maps, rational maps, then you get another holomorphic covering. <laughs> Actually, you can get it with not rational map, but general holomorphic coverings, which form a family of covordant holomorphic maps. And finally, this is the last theorem, that if you have two conformal coverings that belong to the same Hurwitz class, and each of, if, if each of them, uh, so if they belong to the same Hurwitz class and ha admit a quasi function, I, I forgot to put, admit a quasi function uniformization each other, then these two maps 
arcobolon. In particular, there's an open and dense set of maps, a pair of maps in the, in the, in the pair of rational maps which are covalent. So, I should stop here, sorry. Thank you.